So in Delta Dental Plan, we know that it was started as NADSP in 1969. Later its name changed to Delta Plan in 1969. So it follows UCR mechanism of percentile calculation. We have already seen how to calculate percentiles and there is no profit. This is a non-profit association with along with Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So in Delta Dental Plan, there are two types of dentists. So dentists can register in Delta Dental Plan as a participating dentist or non-participating dentist. So the criteria are different and the reimbursement mechanism is different. So let's see what are the basic difference between the participating dentist and non-participating dentist. The first and foremost difference is the reimbursement amount. So the participating dentist will be getting at a 90th percentile reimbursement for the same treatment the non-participating will get only the 50th percentile so that is a huge difference of reimbursement but the participating dentist has to pre-file his usual fee so we have seen what is usual what is customary and what is reasonable fee so he has to file the usual fee but he doesn't need to file usual fee for participating dentists, there will be auditing of his accounts by the Delta Dental Plan auditors, but he is uh, having no auditing of his accounts. Then there will be post quality check evaluation by the inspectors from the Delta Dental Plan in case of participating dentist, but there is no quality check in non participating dentist. So the participating dentist can take up patients only from the Delta Dental Plan patients. From the patients, those who have registered in Delta Dental Plan, he, uh, he can't take up any other plan patients. Uh, there are other plans like uh, Capitation Plan, um, Blue Cross, Blue Shield plans. And so such plans, uh, patients, uh, participating dentist cannot take up. But non-participating dentist can uh, give treatment to any patients from any uh, scheme so he can include any patients and uh, participating dentist is obliged to give a fixed amount to the Delta Dental Plan's reserve fund but uh, this non-participating dentist uh, no need to give such funds so non-participating dentist has so much benefits this is we cannot say it is benefits but benefit for the dentist uh, not for the patient but he gets only 50th percentile payment uh, whereas the participating dentist get at a 90th percentile payment okay so that is delta dental plan